the ability to edit PDF files using the preview function in OS X has been greatly enhanced with the introduction of Mountain Lion 10.8. If I open a PDF file, you can see that the preview window now has some additional icons. Starting on the left, we have the view menu. If I click on the drop down arrow, I am presented with a number of different options that I can use to preview my PDF files with. For this example, I'm going to choose thumbnails. I can now use the thumbnail view to manage and organize the pages within my PDF document. For example, I can add additional pages to my PDF file. I can then change the order that the pages are displayed in. And just like the previous version of Preview, I can also delete pages that I do not want. The next option I have available to me is the ability to zoom out or in on a document. If I need to send the file to a colleague, I can use the share function. This will allow me to email, message or airdrop the file. However, before sending the file, I might want to use the markup function to make amendments to the PDF file that I have open. As you can see here, I can choose different colors that I can use to highlight my document with. I can also use the markup tool to underline or strike through particular pieces of text. If I need to adjust the orientation of a page within the PDF file, I can use the rotate button. The final button I have available to me is a button which allows me to show the edit toolbar. The edit toolbar allows me to create objects like circles or squares, lines and arrows, text boxes, speech bubbles, thought bubbles, and post-it notes. You can include signatures for forms, change the color of objects, and finally adjust text. All of these features makes the preview function within OS X an incredibly powerful tool, and is particularly useful if you happen to edit PDFs on a regular basis.